And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal. And today, amp capturing show. My name is Gabor, and today I'm looking at this. Now, this is Tonex Capture by Amplitube Icon Multimedia, which is the all in one tone modeling system, reamplification, and amp recording box, as I mentioned by. And I like the new logo, IK Multimedia. Now this, I should mention right from the start, was sent to me by IK Multimedia. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. Now, a little while ago I did a video, you can watch it here, and I'll link to it in the description below as well, where I looked at this. Now that is the Tonex app, and this is the Tonex uh, player, basically. So this is where you can play all these amps that were captured, and you can buy the different collections that Amplitude made or IK Multimedia made. You can play um, captured amps that users uh, upload via Tonet. But today what we're doing with this and what this is for is we're going to capture our own amp. We're going to capture this lovely 90s DoD Juice It with Echo amp. Um, yeah, so what is it, you may ask? So this is what the box looks like. This shows you the different sort of connection, what the different connections are. This gives you the different connection options as well, which we'll look into as well. What is it, you may ask? So first of all, it looks like this once you get it out of the box. Uh, Tonex Capture, it's quite a sturdy box. The pots feel very well. The switches feel quite well. It comes with a nine volt power supply as well. Uh, but what is it? Now, some people, I think, assume that this may be an audio interface. Uh, so you plug it into your computer and then it takes care of everything and you can capture the amps. That's not what it is. It's basically a reamplification box. You still need an interface. So I'm currently using the IK Multimedia Axio Solo, which is in front of me here. Um, that I use that to interface with the computer and with the software. This is basically a junction box uh, or you can call it a junction box that helps you plug in all the cables that go in between the microphone that captures your guitar amp, uh, your guitar and the interface. Now let's look at what the inputs and outputs are. So up the front, for example, we have a line input, we have an attenuator, we have a from amp, we have another attenuator and we have a power out line out um, switch. Uh, and then up the back, we have a line output, a ground lift, two cabinets, two amp, ground lift, and the power supply. Now, what can you do with it and what do you need it for? So, if you want to capture an amp, basically, what you need to do is you need to connect your computer and your interface to your amplifier. It makes lots of noises uh, that go through your amplifier, come out through the speaker, go back via microphone into your interface, and then it analyzes it all and turns it into a tone capture of your amplifier. Now what this does is uh, it changes impedance. For example, I did a video actually you can watch here and I'll link to it down in the description below about impedance issues. So you have low impedance, high impedance, and basically uh, the signal that comes out of, an, out of an output on an interface and the signal that an amplifier needs to see are slightly different signals. Now, if you just plug straight out of an output from an guitar from a like a computer audio interface into a guitar amplifier it won't sound the same as your normal guitar because the impedance is slightly mismatched what this does is basically it goes in between and now your guitar amplifier thinks it sees a normal guitar and reacts like a normal guitar uh, and then it can capture the sound of the amplifier as if a normal guitar was playing it so uh, the other thing you actually can do with it is you can also I'm using a combo, but what about heads, right? What you can also do is you can put this in between a head and a cabinet. So with the, um, up the front here, you have the from amp. So this is, for example, where you would take uh, the head of a guitar amplifier, take the speaker output that goes into here, and then you go through this and to cabinet that goes into the speaker uh, input on your cabinet. Uh, this two amp is basically the cable that goes, which will be that copper colored cable that goes straight into the guitar amplifier. Uh, and then you can also have, you also have line, a line output up the back uh, and a line input. So this is for the line output you would use if you capturing the head on its own. Because what you can do is you can capture a combination of head and speaker or just head on its own and use the speakers in here or use third party um, IR loaders like, um, uh, the wall of sound, two notes wall of sound, for example. So the best way to look at it is if, if we go into the app now, right? And instead of looking at play up the front, we look at modeler, right? So we click on that. So this is kind of, it helps you set everything up. Let's click next. 
Do we want to do guitar or bass? We want to do guitar. Next. Okay, so here it gives you different options, right? So you can do amp and cab. So this is model and amp head and cabinet or a combo by using one or two microphones. We're just going to use one microphone. Room. And that's what we are doing. You can do a complex rig. So you can, for example, put a, a, a distortion pedal or an EQ pedal of some sort in front of the amp and, and uh, uh, capture it like that. Uh, you can't do modulation or time-based stuff, but any kind of distortion uh, EQ kind of stuff, you can run into it and it will capture it. You can just capture a stomp box. You can just, any distortion pedal, you can capture it um, and then use it within Amplitude. Uh, you can just have the amp, model an amp head or amp head section of a combo by using a line out or attenuated power out. So this is where you can plug that in between the head and the cabinet. Uh, or you can do head with a stomp box. So these are the different options. So we're just going to do amp and cab, right? Next. So this is now where it shows you how to connect it all. And to do that, actually, I'm just going to put this here. And hopefully the other camera will kind of look a does it look about right? That looks about right here. So you can see that's the, the tone X and behind it, you can see the Axio interface, which is quite important. So going back onto here, right? So here you select your input and output device. So you select what interface you want. So I, for example, have my Audient ID44 interface hooked up to it as well, but we're not using that. I want to use my Axio solo. So it, me, it knows the all the input, all the microphone, everything I'm doing is the input comes on the interface. And same with the output. Now the output, means where it goes to my studio monitors. Uh, and output here shows you output one and output two. So that's my two studio monitors here that I hear stuff back through. Uh, now, let's look at this. So input one, so the input one on the front of the interface. And again, this varies depending on what kind of interface you use. Some interfaces will have 20 inputs and it just depends what input you plug a guitar in. But with this input one, I'm plugging my guitar into, right? Which we'll do in a second. Input two, um, and again, that varies depending on the interface is, but th that's my AKG microphone that is here. So that goes into input two of the interface. Um, and input two also has a uh, phantom power on at the moment because that microphone is phantom power. Uh, then it says output three is what you need to send to the rig. So output three, and you can just see it maybe here in the back in the front of this. And again, different interfaces will have different outputs, but, uh, the IK Multimedia Axio in front of it has one. It says two amp. I think you can actually technically reamp with that already, um, but we'll just do what it says to do. So I just have a guitar cable here, right? That comes out of the two amp output or whatever the output is you use on your interface. And that goes into what we call the line input up the front. Oh, the other thing I should also do now is plug a power into this. So I have a nine volt power supply and let's plug the power in in the back. And as soon as you do that, the light comes on in the front and that also it goes red if it clips, if the signal is too hot. So we've got all that hooked up, right? So that is that now. Now, one quick thing I'm gonna do is, let's see what sound the amp makes. So I've already done two captures of a clean amp and a sort of semi-overdriven amp. It's a transistor amp, so it's, it's really fun and I just thought something a little bit different. But now let's have a look at what that looks like or what it sounds like if I just plug directly into it. So. This is now just my guitar, the um, Parts Master Caster. There's a video for it here. Uh, straight with that sort of coppery kind of cable, going straight into this. Uh, I'll put a photo up of all the settings. It's pretty much most things are sort of at 12 o'clock or just one o'clock. Uh, this is what it sounds like, right? It 90s transistor amps, so don't get your hopes up too much, but it sounds kind of cool. <laughs> Right, so that's me just plugging straight into this. I'm just going to turn it off again because it's a bit noisy. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug that cable, right? Uh, and what we're going to do now, this, right? Uh, because here it says reamplification box and then it points to the amp. Now what you're doing is on the back, the one that says two amp, right? We're going to plug it into the one that says two amp. So that cable, in the back now, you can see it here, goes two amps. So that's a cable. So we, now what we're doing is we've got the guitar. Oh, and that's the other thing. So now the guitar, there's another cable that goes via my uh, Peterson Strobel Stomp HD tuner that's always on the desk. That goes into, I don't know, can you see it here? It's behind here, but that goes into the input. So this cable basically now goes into the input of the interface. Then it comes out of the interface here, goes into this. Then the impedance gets changed and it goes out of this into the amp and then from the microphone that's in front of the amp, 
back into the interface. I hope that sort of makes sense. So now what I can do is plug this in again, but in with the other cable. Um, and if we click next now, so now we've got to check the input level. So this is now the level and I've got to turn it, tune her off. Uh, this is now the input level going into the interface. You've got to make sure there's not too much level there. It's maybe a little hot. It's very touchy this stuff. Let's leave it at about that. That looks about right. Uh, now, next. So now we have this, that's the analog attenuator up the front. So this is the volume it sends to the amplifier. So at the moment, hang on, let's turn it on again. So at the moment, sounds about right uh, and it's going to be noisy now because that's on uh, now next uh, this is now the return level so this is the level of the input from the microphone on the interface now you can play yourself and it's about right or you can use what they call a live input plays that stuff for you so you know you don't have to play you know it gives you a, 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 a line level basically what kind of level it is sounds all good <laughs> yeah I think my phone's there amp is making funny noises next okay now we're on to the capture thing so basically everything is connected everything works now let's go to the capture now the capture thing first does a really loud um, frequency sweep and then there's just tons of guitar playing for about five minutes that same as what you just heard before that sort of Set the pre recorded stuff uh, for the first part of the capture. So let's do that. So that took about five minutes now, roughly, to capture the first part. So that was, uh, you sit there and you listen to a lot of guitar playing and the really, really loud frequency sweeps at first. So that bit is done. Uh, let's click next. So now you have a fast, a default and an advanced. Now, uh, I haven't done fast. I did a default. It took about 25 minutes to do that. I did advanced. It took about an hour and a half for advanced. So I'm just going to go default because it sounded just as good to me. Uh, uh, default. So what it does now is it kind of creates the tone capture now so this was basically capturing it and now it's kind of creating it and turning it into um, a thing you can use on the computer so let's click that uh, and up here you just click start default training and now this is going to take about 20 25 minutes or so um, until it's completely done so now because that's noisy can turn it off because we don't need that because it's already captured it uh, and I'm going to be back once it starts we'll see what it looks like when it starts this sort of picture comes up and it sort of gradually creates a picture there you go so uh, you've got this picture here of an amplifier and it sort of gradually gets more and more visible and that's basically what it does so see you in about 20 or so minutes when this is done all right, about 25 minutes later, and it's all done. Uh, your tone model is now ready. Move to the next step to review your new tone model. So we click next. Uh, it just 
wanted to make sure everything is still connected. So everything is still connected exactly the same way it was before. Uh, next. Okay, now what we can do is we can get the... Actually, I should turn this on, even though this is very noisy. Uh, so now I can go between the tone model and the M. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, when you're doing a comp, when you're doing that with a combo amp, the amp is in a room, it's way louder, so you hear it. But when I was uh, a being and before with the the clean sound um, capture I did and uh, medium gain uh, capture I did, it was very very close. <laughs> looks about right um, let's turn it off again because it's very noisy then you go next uh, then you select here what kind of um, skin you want so I think I've been using this one because I think to me that looks somewhat similar uh, and then you enter what you want it to be called so uh, I think I just called this DOD uh, juice it amp dirty let's just call it that um description 90s dod uh juice it amp uh amp name <laughs> dot juice it uh character let's go high gain it is fairly high gain amp channel um what do they call it? Dist. Uh, dist. Uh, cab name. DOD 12 inch. Configuration 1 by 12. Mic. So the mic I'm using is an AKG C214. It's sort of relatively inexpensive. Not in any way, shape, or form sponsored by AKG, but that's just what it is. Output gear. I'm just. I just wrote. I've got the IK multimedia x oh, just x i o solo uh yeah and i know i mean you can add comments and keywords i don't know a lot what about like 90s uh dod transistor for when people search uh yeah so, and that's basically it, and you've got it here. And now uh, what I'm gonna do, so that I've got, I did three of those. I did a clean, uh, medium gain, and a dirty. And uh, as I'm now putting this video up, or when this video is up, all three of them will be available on ToneNet. So this is basically this one. Just to give you a quick run through, that's the, the one I just did. <laughs> And hear it. Oh, yeah, there's the other ones. So there's the clean one, for example. And then I did a low gain one. change if you want so if you want the sound that's captured just put it all at five o'clock and that's it so that's my three DOD juice it amps uh, they're all going to be available on ToneNet uh, when this video comes out uh, let me know if there's any of these amps in particular you want me to do um, captures with I will do some captures I'm also going to compare it maybe with some other capturing tools and you know uh, where you can capture amps uh, yeah so we'll find out more about it thank you so much for watching big thank you to the awesome people at Tonex if there's anything like is there anything in particular you want me to do let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah that's it see you in the next one bye